Hey guys, you're watching my channel Trek Trip. Please subscribe and you can stream more videos there and don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest video updates. Now here we are going to learn about the incremental lines. What are they? So here we'll cover the incremental lines of enamel which are called as the stri of red cheese, the neonatal lines. In case of dentine, the incremental lines of one Ebner, the contour lines of Owen, of course the neonatal line. And in case of cementum, the incremental lines of the Salter. Now first we'll learn about the stri of Regius. It is the thickened striations due to rhythmic formation of the enamel matrix. It denotes the rest periods between periods of activity and appears concentric in cross sections as they run circumferentially like animal rings. They lie perpendicular to the enamel rods. The complete striations they course around the tooth while the incomplete striations they course from the dentino enamel junction to the enamel surface and are oblique. More number or broader band indicates the period of metabolic disturbances in the amylogenesis that result in the prolonged rest period. The daily rate of deposition is 3 to 5 micrometer per day. From inner to outer surface, it increases. These incremental lines appear dark, that means they are hypomineralized. They are more frequently seen in permanent teeth than in the deciduous or prenatal enamel. The reasons behind the formation of stri of regius are they are formed due to successive opposition of enamel matrix. The temporary constriction of the tomb's process, which is associated with the corresponding in the secretory phase of the ameloblasts, that results in the alteration of the enamel structure along the line. Second reason is the variations in the basic structure, and the third reason is the areas of periodic bending of the enamel rods. Now, talking about the neonatal line. It is the accentuated or enlarged stri of regius that apparently reflects the marked physiologic changes occurring at the birth. It is seen in all deciduous teeth and permanent first molars. Now coming to the incremental lines of von Abner. These are the fine lines or striations that are present in the dentine and they run at right angle to the dentinal tubules. The course of lines indicates the daily normal rhythmic recurrent linear pattern of deposition of dentine matrix as well as the hesitation in the process. Direction of deposition of dentine is inward and rootward. In 5 day increment, the distance traveled is 4 to 8 micrometer in the crown and 3 to 6 micrometer in the root. The daily deposition rate is 4 micrometer, that is 24 hour mineralization cycle. When the tooth reaches its functional occlusion on eruption, the daily increment decreases. Now, what are the contour lines of Owen? These are seen in the ground section. These are accentuated incremental lines of von Ebner and are hypocalcified bands. The matrix and mineralization process is disturbed due to trauma or injury will produce the contour lines of Owen. The coincidence of the secondary curvatures may also produce the illusion of the contour lines of Owen. So differentiate between these. There is an experiment that on demineralization, the contour lines of oven will decrease in its thickness, but the secondary curvatures will persist. Now talking about the neonatal line of dentine, this is the accentuated contour lines that separates the prenatal and postnatal dentine, 
due to abrupt change in environment at birth that is seen in deciduous teeth and forced permanent molars. The area is the zone of hypocalcification. Now coming to the incremental lines of Salter, it shows a mineralization process of cementum. The deposition of the cementum matrix occurs in irregular rhythm and the periodicity is unknown. In case of acellular cementum, the incremental lines are closer or even or smooth, while in case of cellular cementum, the incremental lines are further apart, thick, irregular, that is due to difference in the degree of demineralization or composition of the underlying matrix. So that was all about the incremental lines. Hope you liked it. So please like, comment and share. And thanks for watching.